Hello everyone and welcome back. I want to thank you everyone for keep watching my video, supporting, liking, sharing. Thank you very much. This is, cannot be achieved without your support. And please don't forget to check my Patreon videos where you have my opinion on last year board games that I play. So the top five most disappointing games of 2023 and also how to predict if you're gonna like a game based on BGG rating. Very interesting videos, please go and check that out. Now, let's focus on the most forgotten rules of March 2024. So in this series of videos, I'll go through some of the games that I play and some of the most forgotten rules, some of those rules that either I had more difficulty to remember or I've seen player more, most of the time forgetting it or not using it uh, properly. The first game is Animated. This game is a cooperative game by Studio Hall, very interesting game with a very interesting theme. You are a Disney animator and you work together to meet the deadline. You are building a tableau, you're building with some tiles, a cartoon, and then you need to publish before the deadline. Some things happen in the meantime that obviously speed up the deadline, cause some problems, you have some little bit of a resource management, some set collection that you need to do. One of the most forgotten rules, I think it was the only really forgotten rule, and that's on my part, is how to get the magic token. If you don't take the action that you can sell, you can get a magic token. And that rule, it just got forgotten. The only way we were getting magic token was actually covering the magic symbol on your player board. And so that made the game extremely difficult. We won it once, but it was extremely, extremely difficult. And then I came back to the rule book. I said, that's how we can, how can we use this magic action if we lack in magic tokens? And then one part of the rule book, I found that that rule was written. If you don't take the action, you can get a magic token. So that obviously changed absolutely the game flow. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how I forgot about that rule, but you know, it just happened. Let me know if you played this game. Let me know if this is the most forgotten rule as well, or if you have something else. Let's share. Let's improve our gameplay. Then we have Ethnos. Ethnos is an uh, area control set collection as well, published by Simon Game and designer Paolo Mori. Very good game, very interesting, and actually pretty simple. So it's, you may wonder what is the most forgotten rule. And I'm not going to talk about faction. Each faction plays in a different way. And if you want to know about the game, you have this area control, but at the same time, you take some card clans card and you collect them and some of them score in a different way compared to the other one so i'm not going to go in details about those cards yes you we don't have all the clans memorize them um, by art so we check the rule book from time to time to see how they score but one basic rule that is applied for any game is the river so at the beginning of the game, you have a river of cards where you can draw one card from there. The rule that was forgotten the most was that when you draw a card from the river, you don't replenish. So one game was basically you draw the card and you replenish it more like a ticket to ride style. And so we figure out this is absolutely not the case. So you have the river and if you draw a card, you don't replenish. So if you don't like the cards in the river, you go and do a blind drafting from the card deck. That changed the game significantly because obviously you, you decrease the lack factor because you replenish, you can decide, oh, this is the real card I really need. There is a you know, if you don't uh, replenish the river, there is kind of some leftover cards that remain there that at some point you will consider actually taking it. It's a very nice balance. I actually appreciate why the rule is there. The game is that didn't change that much, just you, you decrease the lag factor. 
so it wasn't a big deal. We enjoyed our game, and not as much, uh, or it wasn't as painful as animated, but definitely a rule that please uh, remember uh, to get. It's a pretty simple game, but you know, even those simple games, there are rules that often get forgotten. And the last forgotten rule for today videos come from the game Mille Fiori. Mille Fiori by uh, Dr. Knizia is a point salad game basically there's a nice drafting mechanism at the beginning you you get a card you, you get a hand of cards you select one you pass the other cards and then you receive the a card from your opponents so there's kind of i want to collect and score lots of points in this way but at the same time oh i know you have placed yourself pretty well on the board so i don't want to give you those high scoring cards to you because you're not you're gonna score lots of points so there's this back and forth really and there's really every time you play that you get points and points and over points and over points very very fun it's very satisfying i like those games very light as well and very easy most of the rules in mille fiori are also easy however the most forgotten rules is about the boats so around the board you have boats where you load them with goods and you contribute also to let them depart and if you the boat is full and departs you score points based on the goods and everyone gets points also that's the main theme of mille fiori you get, you do something cool and the other people get a little bit less cool stuff the rule i was forgotten the most is when the boat sails with the goods the player with the least amount of goods on the boat get a bonus this is a rule that was very much forgotten i think because the sailing part of the boat is something that occurs seldom in the game additionally you have one or two player heavily focused on that sometimes even one player that fill up all the boat and let it part and so there's not really someone that gets more and someone that gets less when that happens especially at the end of the game when most of the boats are already gone and so you are just scrambling for the last few points or sometimes you have really a boat with one or two people with two items and then a third one with one item only so that person gets a bonus and in a game it happened maybe once or even twice it didn't happen at all but obviously that could be a big swing the, the bonus in uh, mille fiori can be very powerful because you get an extra card that allows you to do something else and you especially at the end of the game you have a huge cascade of action that's very cool in this game but because of that forgotten rule i feel like whoever won that game wasn't deserving it because we should have given another player a bonus and that might have triggered a cascade of scoring and I could have brought them to the top we never know the experience was good but obviously these rules when you miss them uh, give you some bitter taste at least in my part I know some of you may not mind you know it's part of the experience it's part of the getting uh, gathering together it's not really winning um, or doing the best it's just enjoying the experience but i want to enjoy the experience of following the rule that's all overall is the idea of this channel looking at all the rules of the games and get it straight down getting ironed down to play at the best of our potentials so let me know on your comment below what are the rules that you have forgotten the most the last month you must have played many many games you have learned new games and sometimes even old ones especially the old ones they are tricky they're tricky because you think you know them but you don't especially the borderline cases so let me know in the comments let me know which game you want me to review in detail so about rules or clarify some rules Thank you very much for following. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share with your friends. You know the drill. That's not your first YouTube video, am I right? Thank you very much and see you next time. Ciao.